Welcome back to Sunday School, and we are so happy you're here. This morning, I am joined by Keisha Lockhart and her two kiddos. Keisha, thank you for being here. Good morning, and we're happy to be here. I really enjoyed the story from last week. Every time I hear it, I just picture myself on the mountain with Peter, John, and James, being able to witness Jesus transform and hearing God's voice. It's an incredible story. And this morning, we will be able to hear a story that may sound very familiar to a lot of you. Keisha, do you like snakes? No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> well, we are going to hear how a serpent tricked Eve. Our story today is longer than normal. So go ahead and put on your listening ears and Jenna's gonna read us a story. Okay. Our story this morning is called The First Sin. One of the animals that God created was very tricky, the serpent. The serpent was clever and sly and up to no good. Did God really say you can't eat fruit from that tree in the garden? The serpent hissed softly to Eve. No, said Eve. God said we can eat fruit from any of the trees in the garden, except for the tree in the middle of the garden. God said not to eat from that one, not even to touch it. The serpent smiled a sneaky little smile. Ha, God doesn't want you to eat fruit from that tree because if you do, you'll know everything. You'll be just like God. The serpent hissed in his sly way. Eve looked at the tree in the middle. Hmm, the fruit sure looks good. So she hates some. She gave some to Adam too. As soon as they ate the fruit, everything changed. Adam and Eve became very embarrassed and shy. They sewed some leaves together, making some pretend clothes to try to cover up their bodies. They stood nervously behind some bushes. Then they hear God walking around in the garden. God called out to them, where are you? Adam and Eve hid. Hey, where did you go? Called God. Adam peeked out from behind some vines. He said, I heard you and I was afraid. Why were you afraid? Asked God. Well, I don't have any clothes for one thing, said Adam, who was quite embarrassed. So I hid. I see, God replied. And who told you that you were naked? Adam said, nothing. Did you eat fruit from the tree I told you not to eat from? Asked God. Eve gave it to me, Adam blurted out. The serpent made me do it, Eve exclaimed. He tricked me. God sighed. I told you not to eat from that tree. Because you have done what I told you not to do, life will be difficult from now on. You will have to leave this beautiful garden and work very hard to get things that you need. Now you will know what it is to be unhappy and someday you will die. I made you from dust. When you die, you will become dust again. God made some real clothes for Adam and Eve and sent them out into the big world. And God was with them everywhere they went. That serpent was very tricky. He knew exactly what to do to Eve to get her to disobey. That serpent knew that the fruit looked delicious. So it didn't take a lot of convincing to get Eve to take the apple. The devil was the serpent. He tries to get people to fall off their path with God. He likes to use things that we would like against us. This is why we need to trust that God will provide and help us. So to wrap up our time together, we have a fun craft activity for you. So what you will do is you will head to our church website, select the Sunday school box. There you will find our February Sunday school newsletter. Look for the box titled First Sin. There you should find some links. Select the link pattern and print it out. And Keisha, I know that you guys went ahead and did, did that. So yep. I'm gonna let so you- So here's the blank one. It. You'll get to color and cut it out. And the kiddos each did theirs. Mine's lava snake. I love that, Graham. And then you can make them into a spiral. Oh, I love it. Graham, is there something written on it? Is there a Bible verse written on it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
very good ground. So thank you for joining us this morning. Let's end with a prayer. Thank you, God, for always loving us. Help us to make good decisions. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining. And as always, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.